Hi, James. Hello, Haim. How are you? Great. James, this episode is about fears and phobias. Mm-hmm. People like you that speak to audience most of the time live shows, you're afraid we do mistakes or maybe don't know what to say. It would be a fear of pretty much anyone on radio or TV that all of a sudden they're going to forget what they wanted to say and just have this brain freeze. Yeah, it's not good. I will ask you now to face your fears. I brought a book. Uh, the name of the book is Speak Out. I want you to pretend that you are in a live show in front of the audience, and I want you to read something. When we arrived back at my condominium, things began to happen quickly. Your furniture is really nice, she said with a little smile. Where did you get the wallpaper? Now, I was feeling good about this. I knew how to shop, and I had a sense of style. Great, great. What did you feel? It was a cold read, but I felt okay about it. Let's do something like this. From this moment, it will be more difficult for you. It will be very heavy or very difficult to read. Read again. The, the guy next to me was some sort of treasurer and he had come with a magazine for his kind of folks. Look at me. One, two, three, four, five. Please read. De. De. <laughs> I can see it. I can Don't see it. You can see it. So what you can see? Next to me was S O S. What do you feel? Frustration. Because <laughs> I can see it. I can't say it. <laughs> great, great, great. What? I don't understand it. Look at me. One, two, three, four, five. Read some. I think it's real nice. And what about the Wesel Nigrin? You got that new, didn't you? Tina shot back. Yes, the Walls and Nigans new, you silly girl. I came back with. Oh, all the rest of the Foschenbach. My cousin law key bed up in the loft. The wine won't be in an implantant all of the glass as she is out bulk. Maybe we some uh, take our time, Tom's drives, Tom's in a responsible fossil. What? It's very simple, like a switch. After our meal, the server was a bit hard to find, but in the end, we paid and left. The ride back to my neighborhood was easy enough, and my hot date seemed to be very touchy as we drove home. Wait. What is this? Journalist. Look at me. Mm -hmm. What is this word? I don't know. It's not the same what you no. saw before? No, no, this is off. I put my finger here, okay, and I leave it. Look at me. What is the word? Journalist. Look at me. What is the word? Renal lost? It's journalist. Right? Yeah. But so how does that work? It's only a psychological trick of the mind. It's a little bit nerve-wracking that a person can do that to another person without actually giving them electroshock or anything. I don't know how he does it. James, thank you very much. I thank really you. appreciate it. Well, really. thanks for giving me my mind back. It's yours. I cannot take it. I like when people bring out that magic that you can't explain, you don't know how it works. It makes life fun. Can you really do this to some of my competition? Yes, just <laughs> let me know when, where, Send you to some other places.